So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell untradeable players in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. So if you don't know, we are getting a lot of untradeable cards right now in FC Mobile, right? With the exchanges, with the events and all that, this 87297 overall player pack, for example, is fully untradeable as well as we've got new 89297 overall player pack that is fully untradeable. This 93297 overall heroes pack is also untradeable um, if you want to go ahead and open them as well as from the events, you are getting a lot of untradeable cards. Now, in this video, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can make coins from your untradeable cards, but there is a little bit of a twist to it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one a little bit later on. So for example, if you go into my players list, you can see I've got quite a few untradeable cards. I've got Clusterman, Hyunmin Sons, Barrellas, and all of these, and I've got this Kubo card as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use Kubo as an example uh, as an example right there. So we've got this 93 overall Kubo, right? And we cannot go ahead and sell that card no matter how much I try, try it just because he's untradeable. He's fully untradeable. I cannot go ahead and sell that card. But there is a chance, there is a way you can go ahead and make coins from um, from pretty much all of your untradeable cards if they are in the market. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and buy another Kubo card from the market right now and hear me out for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and buy another Kubo card, this is the same exact card for 10.2 million coins right there. I can go ahead and buy that 93 overall uh, Takefusa, I think his first name is, yeah, Takefusa, sorry. Takefusa Kubo right there, I'm gonna go ahead and buy him for 10.2 million coins, here we go. 10.2 million coins, there we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run cap this Takefusa Kubo, I'm going to rank up his tradable version with an untradable version. Do not make that mistake. If you rank him up with, uh, if, if you use a tradable version and rank, rank an untradable card, rank up an untradable card with that tradable card, you're, you're going to be losing that tradable one and your player is not going to be tradable. That's going to be untradable still. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these Kubos into my squad, or I'm going to just go on and check if they, if, uh, we, which one of them are tradable first. So this one, for example, let's go into details and this one is tradable. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this player right there, this card exactly, and I'm going to go ahead and rank him up with an untradable version. This Kubo version, the second Kubo version that I've got is 100% untradable, completely untradable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this untradable version to go ahead and rank up my tradable version. And as you can see, he becomes 94 overall. But the main thing is that he also becomes a tradable card. That card was already tradable. I used an untradable card and I got a tradable 94 overall ranked up version of Kubo. And I can go ahead and sell him for more coins now. Here we go. And I'm going to be making some coins, obviously, with that. So if you go into my player section and if I go ahead and sell that, Takefusa Kubo card for about 13. I'm gonna to try to sell him for 13.6 mil just to make a bit more profit. I'm gonna be able to go and sell that card, and I'm gonna be making uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna be making some coins. Now this only works with the players uh, that have also got a version a version in their in their squad or in the market as well. As I said already, it's not gonna work for the players. Just like uh, let's go and take a look at them. Hold it just because he is an uh, he's an exchange card. This is an exchange card, and you can't find that card in the market. Same thing with Canavaro, just because he's he will only was in the Icon Evolution section, you can't actually find him. But you can go ahead and do it with, for example, Allison, Tim DR Allison, just because he's in the market as well. You can do it with someone like Mustavoy, if, he, if he's untradeable for you, someone like Robbie Keane. Um, Joe Cole, if they are untradeable again, someone uh, like with someone like uh, Jairzinho, you cannot do it with just because they have not got a card in the market as well. So basically, if those players have got cards in the market, you can go ahead and do uh, do this trick and make some profit from them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out with another card. For example, I've got this Nicola Barella right there, 93 overall team of the yard card again. What I need to do is I'm I need to go ahead and use that Barella card. And, or buy that Barella card for about 8.7 million coins. And if I go out and sell him, uh, I'm gonna be making. I'm not gonna be making that much profit. So this is another thing that you need to take uh, take into consideration as well. If you are not making a lot of profit, or if you are not making profit uh, when you rank that player up, you should not do that one as well. You can still sell those untradable cards, use those untradable cards to train up tradable versions and sell them. But you are not gonna be making a lot of profit with some of these cards. So for example, I've got this nine, uh, 92 Ralph Celia, for example, right? He's worth about 7.8 million coins. I've got his tradable version. 
version in mass as well. If I go, oh, this this version is 7.8 mil. The normal version is only 5.6 mil. If I rank him up, I can sell him for about 8 mil and make coins. But some of the cards, uh, if you go ahead and take a look at it, for example, Zico. Let's go ahead and take a look at Zico. Zico's tradable version. Let's see how much he, uh, how much it is, right? Oh, I can't actually find him with that name. Let's go ahead and try to find someone else then. Then uh, Zico, uh, the one that I've got untradable. Which players uh, have also got cards in the market as well? I think De Young is definitely going to have a card in the market as well. So let's go ahead and check out De Young's Team of the Week card. If you go ahead and take a look at De Young's 90 overall card right there, as you can see, if I go ahead and rank him up with an untradable version, I can still only sell him for 2.3 million coins. So I'm not going to be making any profit from De Young. So you should not do it with that with these type of players. You should go on and take a look at their prices and see when you go and rank that player up if the if the price is more or not right because with kubo i bought him for about 10 mil selling him for about 13.6 million coins so i'm still gonna be making about three uh, 3.5 million coins after tax maybe just over 3 million coins so i'm gonna be making profit with kubo but with some of the cards you are not gonna be making profit with them same thing with this 94 overall Allison. This is not, uh, this is ranked up and this is 94 overall, but his base card is obviously uh, 92 overall with that team of the year nominee. Allison card is about 11 million coins right there. If you go ahead and rank him up uh, and use an untradable version to rank up the tradable version, you can sell him for up to 14.6 million coins and he's going to sell for 14.6 million coins as well. So if you don't need that untradable card, there is not really a lot of place you can put those untradable high overall cards as well because in the exchanges you need tradable cards in pretty much all the new exchanges as well so you can go ahead and use that use this trick to make some coins saliba for example is 6.7 mil if you got an untradable version of him you can pretty much buy him for about 6 million coins as well and then sell him for 10 million coins that's quick and easy 3 million coins profit from a william saliba alone and we managed to sell this kubo card got 12.2 million coins so i guess that's about 2 million coins after tax i was a bit wrong that's about 2 million coins after tax but if this is worth it for you you can go ahead and make some profit and you can go ahead and make some profit or some more profit with some cards but you can't make a uh, profit with every single one of them cards so as i said you need to go ahead and check them and you can only use the cards or you can go ahead and make coins from the cards that have also got a tradable version in the market as well you cannot use just any other card right but now that's pretty much gonna be the end let me go on and see if i can open anything interesting in that one should i open some exchange packs i'm not sure you know we don't have universal rank player item anymore right no we don't have that pack anymore uh, so i'm just gonna open the team of the week pack and we're gonna end it uh, end it right there i'm gonna use rudiger i've got a couple of Ru rudigers and we'll see if we can get someone good. Can we still pack uh, Holland, Erling Holland from this pack? I'm not 100% sure. We've got Dutch. It's going to be a striker from PS. Is that De Young? Look, De Young. 87 overall. Look, De Young. It's not, it's not the best one. Bam. It's not awful either. Yeah, that's it.